Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a video that I've been wanting to do for a while. I was seeing some of these videos going around, a lot of people were doing them. I just thought it sounded like a really fun video and I'm gonna do both versions of it. So let me back up and tell you what I'm talking about. So today I'm going to do my favorite shade in palettes. So I'm going, I took an assortment of some different eyeshadow palettes that I own and I'm going to show you and swatch all of my favorite shades from each of these palettes. And I haven't really like planned this out, I haven't thought about it. And I'm gonna try not to think of my least favorite because next I'm gonna film my least favorite. These may kind of be spaced out, but I'm gonna film both of them right now so that I have the same palettes. And I didn't wanna do my whole, all of my eyeshadow palettes and I kind of tried to limit it because I don't want this to be like crazy long. I just want this to be a fun short video. I mean, it'll be hopefully somewhat short. Um, <laughs> But I just thought that this was really fun. It's fun to see not only, you know, the person's favorite shades in each palette and least favorite shades, but also, you know, to see them all lined up together. And, you know, I, I just think that, that was a really fun idea and I, I wanted to do this and I'm finally getting around to doing it. And like I said, I'm gonna do my least favorite ones as well, just in a separate video. But if you do want to see a part two of either one of these, let me know because I definitely have more eyeshadow palettes than this. I also didn't really include some of my like super new eyeshadow palettes because I wanted to make sure that there were ones where I'd used the whole palette. And so I can really tell you not just like my favorite shade by the way it looks, but also the way it performs on my eyes. So some of my newer palettes, I haven't like necessarily used them entirely. So there's that and maybe with some time, I'll be able to add some of those in. But anyway, if you do wanna see another one of these videos just with some of the other palettes that I have, then definitely let me know. Otherwise, we'll just keep it at this. Let's just get started. I'm sure that the intro for my least favorite will be shorter because I already kind of went through all of it here. But anyway, let's just get on with my favorite shades in some of my eyeshadow palettes. All right, so let me kind of roll this up here. I'm wearing long sleeves because it is cold outside, but that doesn't work so well for a video like this because I don't want to get eyeshadow all over myself. Um, okay, and of course I'll wipe it off when I'm done. I thought I had a wipe somewhere. Yeah, I do. Okay, <laughs> I'm getting out of myself. All right, so. The first one that I took is just one of my Juvia's Place palettes. I do have a couple others, so I can include those in another video, but I just wanted to do one of them. And the, the one that I chose is my Nubian 2 palette. And part of why I chose this is because I used it a lot recently because it was in my last month's Throwback Thursday. I have another one of their palettes in this month's Throwback Thursday, but I used this a lot. So it was kind of fresh in my mind. This is what it looks like absolutely beautiful, beautiful shades. So like I said, I didn't really plan this beforehand, so I don't actually know which shade I'm going to choose. I'm just gonna kind of look at it right now and think about it. I think, but I think I know I was, I, I think I know which one is my favorite and it's the shade Yaw. And I actually got this shade in my palette bingo that I did with this palette. I just did that. It was my very first palette bingo. You can check it out. I'll link it up above. It was super fun. Um, but this shade was one of the shades that I got and it's just it's an absolutely gorgeous shade Let me put it here for you oh, I mean, it's like metal. It's just absolutely gorgeous these These Juvia's place palettes are absolutely stunning and the shimmers are definitely the shining point I mean the mattes are really good. I talked about that in the palette bingo that the mattes are really, really good, but the shimmers are so good that those sort of get the most attention. Uh, they're just, they're amazing. And for the price, you can't really do any better than that. All right, I'm gonna put that over here. We're gonna kind of move them this way. So then I wanted to kind of put in a palette that is one of my original palettes that I got that I have had for a long time. It's actually even in like the thicker original packaging. It's my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. It is one that I've kept and I did a declutter a while back of my eyeshadow palettes. And this one made it through. It is one of my favorite palettes that I've had for as long as I have. It's a great palette. It really is a nice assortment of colors for it being just like a neutral palette. And I really like the looks that I create with this one. So which one is my favorite? I'm kind of trying to decide between two of these here. 
but I think it has to be this one. And it's the one that has the biggest dent and it's this shade right here. I don't know what it's called because this was the original one. It doesn't have the shade names on it and whatever sheet came with it, I don't have it anymore. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful shimmer shade. I swear they're not all gonna be shimmers, but it's just really, really pretty. It's beautiful all over the lid. It's just a good shade. And I am always drawn to that shade whenever I use that palette. You can see it right there. So far we're, we're very neutral, but it's not all gonna be neutral. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love that shade. Sorry, I don't know the name of it. If you know the name, you can comment down below, but if I can find out the name, I will. I can put it down in the description box. So then I have the Queen of Hearts palette by Colored Rain. This is one of my favorite palettes. It's a beautiful palette, you can see. Definitely my cup of tea with the purples and the oranges. I love those tones. Oh gosh, which color is my favorite in here? I think it's gonna be another another shimmer. <laughs> I swear there will be some mattes. Um, oh gosh, which one is my favorite? I think it's this one, Queen Mother. I think that one has to be my favorite. It's so, so beautiful. It's the shade right here. Sorry, this is very reflective. Um, it's just a gorgeous shimmery purple. So stunning. This was one swipe just beautiful. I love this palette. It is pricey, but I think it's worth it. It's one of my favorite palettes. The next one, I wanted to make sure and include an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette because I love their eyeshadow palettes. They're so, so good. And this one is no exception. This is of course the modern Renaissance palette. This is what it looks like. It's just a beautiful palette. Every time I use it, I'm always impressed at how good the quality is and how beautiful they look. So Definitely my favorite shade in here. This one is a matte, finally, <laughs> is the shade Love Letter. Let me show it to you. It's this one right here. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I mean, it's beautiful. And um, definitely one of the stars in this palette, I think. And it, it even performs better than its watches there. I really think that it's a fabulous, fabulous shade. Okay, so then we have the ColourPop Dream Street palette. This is a collaboration with Kathleen Lights. I also have the Zodiac palette, but that one's a little bit newer to me. I did do a review on that palette, so I have used it all, but I didn't want to include both of those palettes. I kind of wanted to just do a variety of palettes from different brands, um, but I could certainly include that one if you wanted me to do another one of these videos. So this is a really nice little palette. I, I really love the quality of this. They're really inexpensive, so it's a great way to try just a bunch of different shadows from ColourPop, and you know, they're really good for travel because they're small. This one, of course, doesn't have the mirror, the Zodiac palette does, so it's a little bit more expensive, but I do really enjoy this palette, and I know which shade I'm going to choose, and it's this one right here. It's the shade Kaleidoscope. It's just a beautiful, like, duochrome silvery blue shade. And I absolutely love it. It's so beautiful. I don't know if you'll get the full like duochrome effect of it, but it's beautiful. And I really love this palette, I really do. Then I have another one that I reviewed. Actually, the next one after this one I reviewed too. <laughs> um, this is the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. I'm gonna definitely link this if you can still get it. I hope that you can still get it because it's so good for the price. You can. You also can get it at Ulta, and so of course you can use coupons and things, but it was an $18 palette. I got this on sale from the BH Cosmetics website, so I got it even cheaper than, you know, I don't know, it may have even been like 30 or 40% off, so I couldn't, I had to get it. Uh, but it is a fantastic palette. I'm not using it quite as much right now just because we're in the fall time, and it just feels very very summery, obviously, as you can see. <laughs> um, not that I can't wear those colors now, but you know, I'm kind of in this in this zone right now. But oh boy, this palette, it's just so good for the price. If you want to know more information, you of course can check out my review. So what is my favorite shade in here? That's the question. And the mattes are really good in here too. The shimmers are decent. Um, I think my favorite is the shade Electric just because it's a really unique shade. It can be really impactful and it's just a gorgeous shade. And um, it can kind of look different depending on how you apply it. But 
I, I think it's beautiful either way. I, I think it is a really, really nice shade. So let's put that one here. You know, it's like a hot pink, but it's like a corally hot pink, if that makes sense. It's more unique than it even looks, I think. I, I feel like it's a shade that I don't, I don't see in a lot of other palettes. So I like that one a lot. The next one, like I said, I reviewed this one as well. I swear this wasn't meant to be like advertising all my other videos, but I'm just letting you know in case you want to know more about these palettes. This is the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. I really like this palette a lot. It's got lots of beautiful shades in here. I can't uh, bend that one down, so I might have to hold this like this. Um, <laughs> but this is a really, really nice palette. Such big pan sizes too. And it's a great travel palette, I think, at least for me, just because it's got all of your like neutrals in there, but, but then it also has a couple pops of color. So I feel like I can create a lot of different looks with this one. And I have traveled with this one before. I love all of these shimmers. So I would definitely have considered one of these to be my favorite, but I do love my purples. I think this one has to be my favorite. This is the shade Double Shot and it's a beautiful purple. I really, really, really love this purple. And I think it performs really nicely for a purple. It's just gorgeous. Purples can be kind of tricky and it doesn't swatch super well, actually. Let me see if I can try and build that up. But honestly, it performs really, really nicely on the eyes and that's the most important thing. So that's a little bit better. Um, it definitely performs really nicely on the eyes though. I do love that shade. Okay, and then the last palette that I chose is another one of my favorite palettes. This is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. This is a palette that I never really planned on getting. It's the only palette that I own from Huda, but I saw this in Sephora and I swatched it and I fell in love with it. It's just a beautiful palette. And just like with the Queen of Hearts, this is a palette that like, speaks to me because it's got those purples and the orangey tones like the sunset vibe you know it's just it's beautiful i really love this palette so my favorite shade so that's tricky because i do really love this palette and immediately i'm drawn to amethyst because it's this beautiful purple and i love purples like that but it's an okay purple. It's not my absolute favorite purple. It works just fine. But I think this shade Twilight is my favorite, the shade right there. It is a little more of like a topper shade, but you can build it up to make it intense enough to be on its own. But it's just that beautiful purpley shade. And I do have other ones like it, but I love the shade so much. It is a little bit lighter and you can see, I mean, so it's beautiful as a topper. It's beautiful on its own. So, so, pretty. I love that shade. All right, so that is it for my favorite shades from all of those palettes. What do you think? Lots of different types of tones. I mean, pinky, purpley, and bronzy, I guess you can say, but I think that, that they go nicely together, actually. So let me know in the comments below what you think of these shades. If you like this video, please make sure and give it a big thumbs up. That really does help out my channel so much. I post videos every single Monday and Thursday, 8 p.m. Central Time. If you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I would love for you to stick around and I really hope to see you next time. Bye.